Hello, Xavier here, and welcome back to another episode of The Bell Adventure, and today it's going to be a quick video, I'm just going to be talking basically. Now, I've moved completely out of the old cave, and that's why I haven't uploaded in a long time. Also, the reason I haven't uploaded in a long time, besides making the whole move, was because I was learning some new stuff that I could use on YouTube, as well as I've been drawing more lately, so that plus my job, I'm trying to figure out the schedule to actually make the videos but I think I figured it out and I'll be getting back to my videos but let me explain a few things so here's my new house a castle now why a castle and how did I build it okay so here's one uh, in the realms adventure that we have here with everybody else that's playing we decided to make some factions so basically uh, these faction leaders are known as kings so I thought it would be kind of fitting to make a castle as my home now how did I build it was using creative mode. I have actually allowed anybody who is a king to use creative mode to build, but only to build. They cannot use it for any other reason but to build. And you can't use specific blocks due to the fact that you could cheat, and uh, I don't want that. So, yeah, uh, let me turn it day real quick. So, the ones that are registered as kings besides me are Shizordi, Aono Yoshi, the Silver Aura MC. And shade the MLG. Now these these players are known as kings due to the fact that they all have factions. We've actually made our own flags, which I will show to you guys right now. So this right here are our flags, and as you can see, you can see the castle way over there at the moment. But my flags right here, we I am known as the Red Angel uh, flag right there. Then we have the Silver Aura MC's flag right here. He has an assassination guild. And then over here. We have a dragon right here, golden dragon. That's uh, Shade DMLG's flag. And right here, this is Shizorzi's flag. He is going to be doing the steampunk type uh, kingdom, which is really cool. Uh, that is loud. There's a bunch of iron golems around here. Uh, so, someone's been organizing some stuff here, actually. Look at that. Someone's been organizing. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so this is one of my villages in the area. Now, I've decided to conquer this one area right here. Shh, quiet, I'm talking. Uh, right here on the on the right side right here, this is where uh, we are right now. And then that other green area right there, that is where the castle will be right there in that area. It's not on top of the forest, but it's right in that area right there. Uh, that's actually where... The Silver MC uh, lives. He actually lives me. Now, why do I have three different flag? Well, four different flags. Now, uh, besides having kings, I've actually made a contract with them. So all these three kingdoms have a contract, and where we can trade and visit our kingdoms with no problems. Uh, so I I just adds to the effect of you know the whole old medieval kingdom thing now i'm actually going to be moving all my stuff which i do have here to the kingdom uh, by foot and but first i actually have to light up the castle because i worked on it but i didn't light it up and there's a bunch of mobs in there you know i just noticed this but uh i think someone built this for me and i think i know who it might be i believe this was shizordi uh, and that's really cool because i really I'm, i like it you know uh so, talking about Shizorzi, I believe he talked, did this for me, but he actually made this nice gate for me where, if I can, there you go, it opens up for me and it closes up for me, which is really cool because we can go inside and then we can also close the gate from the inside, so that's really cool. Uh, so here's the kingdom, not much, I still gotta line up some areas here, and uh, it looks kind of bleak and plain at the moment, but that's because I was using a texture pack to build it now i will be talking about the texture pack the texture pack is the conquest texture pack which i really fell in love with it really has that medieval vibe that i was looking for as well some of the 3d models for the items are really cool uh so i i do recommend to check it out so i'm gonna quickly change over to the new texture pack that i was using and you guys let me know if you would like to see it uh in the place if not uh, just let me know, and if if no one ac actually <laughs> talks or comments below in the few days that I don't upload a video, then I'll just defaultly use the texture pack, because I actually love the texture pack. 
And here it is, the Conquest Text Pack. It really brings out that medieval vibe, which is why I built everything like this. The torches are incredible. As you can see, they actually mount into a wall, which is really cool. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to show you the top view of the entire kingdom right here. And it's pretty big. You can see I've done a lot of work to it. It took me uh, quite a while. I, thankfully, I had some friends to help me out. And there's also backdrops with the texture pack, so <laughs> let's actually see how the uh, the statue looks with this texture pack. I actually didn't see that. All right, there we go. Here it is. It's looking fantastic as ever. Nice. I really love how it turned out to be. It's really cool. And the way back here is where I live. Right here, my little house, the little throne room. Right here, this is my little workshop. Some, uh, you know, decorated to make it look like the natural storage room, as well as a work. So right here, this is the loom, and it's one of the many examples about the texture pack, which is really cool. I really this whole texture pack. This right here is the stone credit, which looks amazing right there, as you can see. Here's the grinder. Aldrin, which has a really nice texture pack right here. And yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like it, as well as the paintings, they look really cool. Um, yeah, so let me know down in, this, in the comments below if you want me to use this or not. This is where my bed's gonna go. And on top of this beautiful texture pack, one more question. Boom! I can actually install shaders into this world, which is really cool because it gives it such a beautiful effect. Now there is a few lag from time to time, but that's because shaders are shaders, and oh my god, the rendering is taking a while. But look, as you can see, some of the ships look like that. But I really like how it turns out to be, and that's very bright. Uh, this medieval vibe, the lights really vibrant, and it's really cool. And if you guys are curious what texture, uh, not texture pack, what shaders I'm using, I'm using... Silders Vibrant Shaders Light. So if, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And I will actually put some of these links down in the description as well if you guys are interested. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching it. Oh my god, look at that. The sun is going down. Another example of what a great shaders pack can do for you and your world. Let's see how it turns to be when it's nighttime and nighttime is very beautiful but very scary of course but look at that the moon is coming out and it still has that nice glow and it's so beautiful i i can't express how much i actually like this uh resource pack but this is how the kingdom looks it looks really amazing uh the texture pack and the resource pack well the resource pack and the <laughs> the shaders pack really come together to give it that extra oomph that minecraft uh needs if it wants to be like a medieval so uh thank you guys for watching and make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you guys are interested in seeing this in shaders and in this texture pack uh if you guys don't decide i'll choose myself but uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video of the Vel adventure bye hey guys thanks for watching if you're interested in more of my videos don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also, don't forget to check out these channels down here as well as this series right here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.